Hi, I'm Koya Webb, and I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. Vegan, and I'm an athlete, and I work out a lot, I play a lot, I do a lot in a day, so I need a ton of calories. So I'm going to let you know what I eat in a day. We're going to start off with a smoothie, and then we're going to go to a kale salad, and then we're going to go to my veggie dish. I eat all this in a day. I do have snacks in between, and I'm going to show you everything. Let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to start with my smoothie. Smoothie is so important in the beginning of the day. First you want two cups of water. Now, sometimes I make just one smoothie for before my workout and then another smoothie for after my workout or I might just have one, but today I am hungry, so I'm having two. So I'm gonna have two cups of water here, about 24 ounces. And then to that, I'm gonna add bananas. Look at these bananas, nice. They look all beaten up. That's exactly how you want them. This lets you know that they're ripe enough. So go ahead and peel it back. You can see it looks beautiful inside. And this is really how you want it because you, you don't want it too um, fresh because then it's not broken down. It's harder on your digestive system. Whereas when it's more brown on the outside, you know it's ready on the inside. It's easier to digest, it's sweeter smells great mm, i try not to eat the bananas on the way in but it's really hard but hey i did it okay now we have the bananas so it would be one banana or one bowl of berries but we're going to do two bowls because i'm making me two servings and then we're going to add our spinach normally it would be one handful but since it's two servings we're going to put two handfuls in there and then for our plant-based protein Normally, one serving, but we're going to put two servings. Let's put three servings in there because normally the scooper is a lot bigger. And then we're going to put just about a teaspoon of cinnamon on top, followed by an inch of ginger. So if you want to measure an inch here, it's just the size of your thumb. That's how much ginger. And if you want to cut it, um, especially if you don't have a high split bender, you might need to cut it um, down into small chunks. But since we have a high split bender, just toss it in there. And then vanilla. I love vanilla in my smoothies. Makes it nice and sweet. And that's it. So we are just going to find the top here. Are you ready for your blender boogie? All right. So place your top on. Okay, now we are going to blend it up. You ready for your blender boogie? Let's get to All right, I think it's ready. Oh, it smells so divine. Mmm, and you can just pour it right back in your mason jar. Oh, got a little water in there. And pour it right back in. Look at how yummy and delicious that looks. Oh, yeah. So good. Mmm, delicious, nutritious. This is gonna energize your day. So I'm gonna drink one of these before my workout and I'll drink the rest of it after my workout. And that is what I have for breakfast. All right, so now it's time for meal number two. So I looked at my videos, they're pretty old, they're pretty hilarious, but I realized that I'm eating the same way. I still have a smoothie in the morning, I still have a salad and a veggie bowl, and it works, I stay fit, all year round i'm healthy i'm happy i'm energized um so i'm just so happy to be sharing with you because guess what it works it's not a fad it's not a quick fix it's just what it is a smoothie a day a salad a day and i have fun all around it all right so let's make the dirty kale salad <laughs> it's four ingredients all you need to do is pour two to four tablespoons of brags right on top of your kale salad and then you're gonna do a half, this is a fourth, so you could do a fourth to a half a lemon, depending on how lemony you want it, totally up to you. And then, this is the secret. 
the avocado. So a lot of times people put dressing on their salads. You really don't need to do that. All you need is some nice, yummy avocado. Avocado dressings have been my favorite for the last 10 years. They remain my favorite because I love avocado. Who doesn't love avocado? And it makes me not use an excess. Plus it has tons of fiber and your healthy fats. So what can you not love about avocado? So guess what? That's it. Avocado, lemon, brags, and now you put the love in. You just start to massage the avocado, the brags, the lemon, and you'll start to see that your kale starts to wilt and it starts to shrink. And that's exactly what you want. Now, if you want to get even juicier, you can actually put two avocados in there and it's going to taste really good. But I'm just doing one because I'm going to eat this kale salad all by myself. But if I was sharing it, I would totally put two avocados in there. One for me and one for whoever I'm sharing it with because I definitely think everyone should have an avocado a day. It's just a healthy thing to do. So, And you really don't want to skimp on this part. This is the part you want to think about you know, good intentions, you want to think about love and peace and, you know, just all the positive vibes. And I'm serious, if you've never um, seen that movie Water for Chocolate about the intention that goes into food, I mean, you, you got to check it out because it really means something. Not only that, this is great for your hands. I mean, the avocado makes your hands nice and soft and it gets in your nails. And as you can see, this is just getting small, smaller and smaller. I mean, okay, I can do this all day, but it really feels good. And if you've never massaged kale and avocado before, you should really try it. It's really, really amazing. Okay, so now if you've gotten all your feels in with the kale, <laughs> um, go ahead and transfer it to the bowl. Now, this is the challenge. After mixing this, try not to lick your fingers. It's nearly impossible. I'm gonna rinse my hands really quick. Um, and comment below, what's your favorite topping? I'd like to know. So here's my dirty kale salad. It smells so delicious. And you can put any toppings you want on it. You can put um, raisins, walnuts, cashews, coconut. I, my favorite are walnuts and raisins. So I'm gonna grab some of those right here. And you wanna just take the walnuts, take a handful of walnuts and just crunch them in your hands and just let them fall on top and just sprinkle them all over. And this is just really good. It's gonna add a little crunch to your salad. And then the raisins are gonna add a little sweetness. You know something else I love to do is just adding a little bit of cayenne because that really speeds up your metabolism, aids your digestion. It's just a fabulous thing to add on top. All right, awesome. And that's it, your dirty kale salad. Meal two is done. How quick and easy was that? I don't know. I think you should try it. Comment below, let me know how you like this dirty kale salad. I absolutely love it. It's been my favorite for the last eight years. I have not tasted a salad that I love better than this one. And I've tasted salads all over the world. So if you got a recipe you think will crush this one in my life, then I'd love to know it. I'd love to try it. But uh, this is meal two and let's prep for meal three. It's time for dinner. All right, you guys, last meal of the day is dinner, and you got this. This is so easy. Let me tell you, as a long-term vegan, I used to make those hard, difficult recipes. Like I still make, from a time to time, lasagna and quiches and these amazing things. It's great. But let me tell you something, when you really try to get your nutrients in and get out the door, you need meals like this that are quick, easy, and simple so you can maintain your health, your energy, and you got time to do all the things you love. So let's get started. One of my favorite ways and one of my favorite things to have for dinner is quinoa. Quinoa is sprouting so it's living. Even though you cook it a little bit, it's still alive and I feel vibrant when I, went, when I eat quinoa. So we're just going to take about a cup of quinoa or two cups. Let me be honest with you. Most of the times I eat about two cups of quinoa, cooked quinoa at a time. And how you make it is one part quinoa, two parts water. Bring that to a boil and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes until it looks nice and fluffy like this. Once it gets nice and fluffy, you know it's done. 
Now to the cooked quinoa, we're gonna add some microgreens. Microgreens are so fabulous, especially for protein. A lot of people don't understand how much protein you can get from grains, but especially microgreens have tons of protein and antioxidants in them. So you really wanna make sure you get your greens because you need that fiber. The fiber really acts like an internal room to like sweep out all the dervis and send you to the bathroom. And hey, if you don't go to the bathroom, then you're full of exactly you know the rest so you want to go to the bathroom at least one today then to that we're gonna add some mushrooms some of my favorite they're nice they're hearty especially if you want that texture you miss that texture then mushrooms are a really awesome way to get that texture in with a lot of nutrients as well and then to that I'm gonna put some salsa on top this is my favorite salsa. I got it from Trader Joe's. Sometimes I put the whole bottle in there, <laughs> depending on what I want. But we're going to put about four scoops, and then we're just going to mix it all together. Actually, I might have to do some really interesting mixing here. Actually, we'll mix it in this bowl because I didn't portion it right. So we're just going to put it in this bowl. We're getting messy here, but hey, it's okay. So it might be easier to mix one thing at a time. So I'm actually going to mix the micro greens in first. Usually I'm doing this in a lot bigger bowl and then I'm going to mix the mushrooms in and then I'm going to mix the salsa in. There we go. All right. That's a lot easier. So the salsa, as you can see, is just coating the quinoa, the mushrooms and the micro greens. That's starting to look really delicious. Mm -mm -mm. And you would think you slaved over the stove for this recipe, but you didn't. You really just heated up that quinoa and threw those greens and salsa in there. But trust me, it tastes like you slaved over the stove for about 30 minutes on this. But in less than five or 10 minutes, you can have this amazing dish. And it is absolutely delicious. All right, so now after you mix it up, you want to beautify your bowl a little bit. So let me put some more on top here. Get halfway fancy with it. You know, I didn't go to culinary school, by the way, so it's going to look like a little pile sometimes, but it all comes together in the end. So we'll put that there. We'll put a couple dollops of sauce on the top. And if you want to sprinkle, I always like to sprinkle a little seasoning on the top. So just gonna grab some do, 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 do. Ah, everything but the bagel sesame season this is my favorite um, this is from Trader Joe's as well and I'm just gonna pop that on top put pow boom there you go doesn't that look delicious it smells delicious it's gonna taste delicious and this is my quick easy and simple dinner I know you can do this Try out this recipe. Let me know how you like it. Um, leave some comments below. Let me know your favorite go-to dinner dish. And that is what I eat in a day. Now there's one more thing, snacks. I definitely snack between these meals. So now I'm gonna share with you what my snacks are. All right, it is snack time. Okay, you guys, let's just be honest. We all love snacks, right? We all love snacks. These are some of my favorite go-to snacks. For the last 10 years, I keep coming back to these snacks. Number one, let's talk about the healthiest of the snacks. Simple, easy protein shake. So when I'm traveling on and off a plane, I can always go get some water. And I take my little travel pack of protein. It has about 20 grams of protein pop that right in my water bottle. So I take this through the airport, nothing's in it, I can get it through. I fill it up with water on the other side, put my protein in there, screw the top on, make sure the lids, and shake, 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 shake. Oh, my bad. Okay, but no, you shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, and you're ready to go. Quick, easy, breezy, beautiful shake. All right. Then, let's say you're tired, you're traveling, you had a long day, kombucha. Oh, kombucha is my favorite. I'm gonna have a swig right now. Mmm. Oh. It just relaxes my brain, to be honest. And it's really great. Um, it has probiotics in it. It really helps your digestion. So anytime I eat something heavy, like 
you know, sweet potatoes or anything really heavy, bread, even what, even if it's vegan, I love to drink a kombucha to just help me with my digestion and it really helps me a lot. Now, let's get into the thing, popcorn. Okay, so I love potato chips. I love snacking on nuts and seeds and potatoes, granola, but guess what? I eat way too much. I kind of have a bit admitting. I have an addictive personality. So you can't just give me like a big bag of granola and expect me to eat a handful. No, I'm gonna eat the whole bag. You can't give me a bag of chips and expect me to eat a portion of it. I'm gonna eat the whole bag. The popcorn, I can eat the whole bag and still be doing okay, right? But usually you have to crunch on it so much, you'll get tired before you get through the whole bag. So this is my favorite snack. I get low sodium, just a little bit of salt, popcorn, I can snack on it for a longer time. Whereas the other things, even nuts and seeds, I try, you give me a can, ugh, I eat half the can, and it's just way too much, right? So popcorn is one of my go-to snacks, and dried mango. Ugh, I love, love, love dried mango. It's sweet, it's juicy, um, and yes, it is dehydrating, but as long as you hydrate an hour before and an hour after you eat mango, it's absolutely okay. Your body will rehydrate it in your system and you'll be absolutely fine. It's great travel food. And last but not least, my Sun Warrior Bar. So I like to grab these when I don't have popcorn, I don't have mango, I don't have my shake, then I need something on the go. I love grabbing a Sun Warrior Bar. It's so good, it's so tasty. My favorite flavor is blueberry. I also really love the caramel, and they are just amazing. They have about, uh, let's see, 17 grams of protein, also has 16 grams of fiber, 212 calories. It's just amazing. So these are my snacks, my go-to snacks, my protein shake, my kombucha, my protein bar, a little popcorn you can find just about anywhere. And I like doing it when I go to the movies instead of, you know, getting that movie theater butter. I just bring my own popcorn, stuff it in a big purse. Don't tell them I told you that. And then I have a little bit of mango and I'm good to go. So these are my favorite snacks. Please tell me below in the comment, what are your favorite snacks? What do you love to snack on? What do you think about these snacks? Are they horrible? It's okay. I can, these are my unguilty pleasures and pretty much no matter what you say, I'm probably still gonna have them. They've been going 10 years strong. I'm still vegan, happy, energetic, and eating them, so I doubt I'll be getting rid of them anytime soon, but I will listen to your suggestions. <laughs> so um, leave your comments below. Anyway, it's all about having fun and finding out what works for you. I would love to hear your snacks, so maybe I can add some of them to my pot and um, just feel good about whatever you're doing. If you're just joining this vegan challenge, just know you can do it. When I started out, I didn't have these staples. I had to figure it out. I had to go through trial and error until I found out what works best for me and my lifestyle. And this is it. So I hope these tips inspire you to just keep trying different things. And I hope you like some of the things that I like. All right, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of others, and take care of the world. Get loved up.